Hey guys, this is Jeff, the Oklahoma, Old Jeff TV and Oklahoma Urban Legend Hunter. Hey guys, it's been a while just catching up with you, what I've been doing. Uh, since the demonetization stuff, I've just been doing my own personal time stuff, not really putting it out there. That little bit of money that funded my things that I got, uh, you know, like I said, they put that on hold because of reasons, and I understand they've got their reasons, but uh, I found out I can donate now, so I'll be doing that, so don't be afraid to donate if anything I put out there now, and I'll, all I'll do is put down that research for better, you know, better camera, better cameras, better quality, try for that anyway. There's there's fantastic people there with all the tools that got that, and those tools will go for that, for gas, and getting out there for these properties, but lately I've been reading, of course, uh, this was the one I'm about finished with, Ruthless Church, probably the, uh, Israel's Redemption is prophesied in the book of Ruth, it's a little different take. It's by a forensic uh, scientist. My, Matthew T. Wilson is really a good book. And it's a different spin on it. Like usually we see Jesus as the kinsman redeemer. And the, uh, uh, Ruth is the church. But it's a little different where it's really more like God the Father. And uh, the Gentiles getting uh, back in, in the love for... Uh, um, really the love is more between Naomi and, and, or and Ruth where she loves her so much. Her people and everything like that. And that's Israel. It's a, I could go on, but this is really a good book. Uh, if you want to check it out, Ruthless Church. That's not really what I wanted to talk about. Uh, thank you, Vinny. But I've been spending more time at home, just spending with the cats. And yes, I will do Urban Legends. I kind of have to separate those between the paranormal and supernatural. I'm giving the Christian advice. There's a lot of things, and I give a lot of per, you know my take and opinions. I, I told a lot of people. Lately, even here, don't, you know, the, uh, uh, friends of mine, and new friends that I say, you know, staying away from the Ouija boards and stuff like that. You don't want to mess with that stuff. I've grown up understanding all that stuff, and uh, I'm telling you. But I, and I also watching, of course, tons of good theories, you know, and one, he's, they call him a conspiracy theorist, but he's more of a researcher. That was, uh, I really liked his book, Behold the, Be a, Behold the Pale Horse. It was really good about William Cooper's take. He wasn't a militia guy. I mean, I've read about him and stuff, but I always thought he got run off the road, but he was actually shot and killed. And I mean, they kind of set up, I believe. And, Why, thank you. You give me hugs. He's probably grateful I'm home more. But yeah, for whatever you do, if you do donate, don't be afraid to donate, donate. I will put it towards any time, any amount. I'll be putting it towards my uh, better equipment and tools and gas to get out to do those jobs and if I find something supernatural. But we're in some, we're in such prophetic times. Uh, Mother's Day coming up, Yom Yerushalayim, that's Jerusalem's day. Mother's Day and of course, um, um, let's see what's next. The Pentecost, the prophecies on that, of Pentecost and, and, and the book of Ruth, a lot of churches read on that because it's the spring harvest and everything. So that's what I've been doing guys. I will, yes, I will get to do research. We'll try to put a spin on more, and try. I want to try to force myself, of course, to be more active and put stuff out there. It's a real windy day today, and just have fun. Hopefully, we'll catch some things put up there on the camera for you for old Jeff TV. Don't be afraid to check out my Instagram as well. Besides donating, there is a. Uh, uh, I'm under Mysterious Oklahoma, which I used to have here, I believe, was my title in, in Hunter, but now it's old Jeff TV. I've changed that. I'll probably change it to Old Jeff TV and Mysterious News of catching both what I see in here. And I'd love to do a podcast. I really would and get that set up. But check out in, on Instagram on Mysterious Oklahoma. Don't be afraid to check that out. I'm on Facebook, Mysterious Oklahoma, Old Jeff TV as well. And got a website. Just, uh, just like I said, haven't been as active since uh, the demonetization as well. And I'm just going to get going again and hopefully get those watch time minutes in. So. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for watching. Yes, hopefully. Yes, and thank you for all your criticism. I will try to do better videos and edit better and get you better quality. But that all takes money, right? So thank you. I have a job at JLB just over broke. So you want to help me out, that's fine. Add to the will company slave until I do better. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon. This week and this Friday, I'm going to sign out and go see a movie with my wife, a good comedy or something. Uh, but always, as always, when I come on, stay with me a while. When I find something, it's always going to be a good one. Take care, guys. Love you. Talk to you later. Bye. Don't be afraid to subscribe either. I forgot to say. And hit those like buttons and all the L's and the buttons. And subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. See you later. All right. And thank you for all the information on places. Talk to you later. As always.
Stay with me a while. It's going to be a good one. See you later. Bye.